Hello and welcome back audience, my name is Massive Brad and welcome back to my FIFA 16 Liverpool career mode. Now before we dive into the only game in today's episode guys, and the reason for that is because unfortunately tonight I didn't get to leave the office till 9 o'clock, I didn't get in till half 9 and it is now 5 to 10, I've literally just grabbed something to eat dead quick, grabbed a drink and now I've come up to record and I know if I'm recording and I play against Manchester City and then I play the second game against Norwich and then I have to edit it, render it and upload it, I won't get it up till about 2 o'clock in the morning and I really can't afford to be up till two o'clock in the morning guys because what I'm thinking is get this video done then I can start editing the Minecraft video and I'm going to schedule the Wofford my player to go up tomorrow so I'm hoping you guys are all excited for that but I'm hoping that you're really understanding guys you know I said to you I want to do 60 days non-stop of constant uploads and I'm on my fifth day today I'm really going strong I'm really enjoying it but I did say to you you know if I have to cut a video short sometimes it's just what I'll have to do I want to do 60 days straight at the end of the day you guys are still going to get a video I'm also going to get to edit another video and I'm going to get to schedule a video for tomorrow so that should be pretty awesome and I'm just super excited guys because if we beat City we will go above them we will be finishing today's video in second position in the BPL and I do believe if we draw they are going to obviously still be ahead of us by one point and if we lose then pretty much Man United have the chance to catch us as well as a few other teams so I'm just going to dive straight into this guys I also just want to mention that I had a quick look on the straw pod before I started recording about the Danny Alves situation I asked you guys in yesterday's episode if you haven't seen it do go and check it out and I have left a straw poll in the description and the comment section saying guys should we sell Danny Alves in and then the first one is January and the second one is summer and to be honest at the moment I'm looking at it right now in front of me I've just loaded it up January is winning, sorry, 10 votes to the summer on three votes. So everyone looks like they want me to offload him in January. And if we can get him to an 85, I do believe at the moment he is an 84. I will just go and check that. Where is he? Danny Alves, 84. If we could get him to an 85, there's a chance that we can make a little bit of money on him. We obviously purchased him for 12 million. I would like to get maybe, if I went for 14... The board would probably allocate us 13.4. We'd have made 1.4 million on him in six months, which isn't bad at all. And then obviously we'll have Joe Gomez replacing the backup if Klein ever gets injured or is obviously gets picked up a red card or anything like that, gets a bit of a ban. We have Gomez to take his place. But nevertheless, guys, that's the starting lineup I'm going forward against City. I'm a little bit worried because not everyone's fit, but I'm just going to do my best to try and do as much as I can in the first 45 minutes. And then I think in the second 45 minutes, I'm just going to go a little bit more defensive than I usually do. And I'm just going to try and keep the ball, guys. Because against Manchester City, we've got Muller, who's third top goal scorer, I do believe, with 10 goals. I have seriously got to be careful. But I'm going with Sturridge up top. Maya Lallana and Firmino at central attack and mid. Chan and Carvalho at central defensive midfield. Gaia, Skill, Marquinhos and Klein at the back with Mignolet in goal. And I also just want to say, guys, a huge big thank you for the amazing stats on yesterday's video. It is insane. I also checked it when I checked on the straw poll. We got over 70 views. We got like 10 likes. And I think we got something like 13 comments. That is absolutely insane. So if you guys can do that again for me on today's episode, that would be amazing. But more importantly than today's episode is tomorrow's episode, guys. A brand new series start. And we all know that you've waited a very, very long time for this. I've been editing it. I spent like 18 odd hours on editing it and getting it all perfect. Then the audio disappeared. I was gutted. I had to do it all again. It's finally done. I'm going to schedule it to go up tonight. I am super pumped for it. I'm sure you guys are really going to enjoy it. So please do smash that thumbs up on tomorrow's video, guys. Absolutely annihilate it. And as usual, I want to say a huge big thank you for the love and support on the channel. And if you do enjoy today's video, please do give it a big thumbs up for me. Don't forget to drop your comments down below. If you're new around here, click that subscribe button. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. And let's get into this game at Anfield against Manchester City and hopefully be bagging the three points. Right, guys, and I have to say, even in front of the home fans and the hard, difficult games that we've played recently, the likes of Chelsea, Man United, Arsenal, I have to say, out of all the games, I am most nervous for this one because one of the biggest transfers that happened recently was Paul Pogba to Manchester City. Now, if you think about it, they probably bought Pogba for about yeah, 60 million. The they probably bought Muller for around 50 million. They've got a brilliant midfield. They've got Muller and Aguero up top. We could seriously, seriously struggle here. So I am literally just going to give it my all straight away as usual. Go defensive and just see what we can do in this first 45 minute period. And if we could go in drawing, I would be very, very happy. Find me that space. Find me it. Play it in the middle. Here's Lallana. Lads, where's the overlap? Go on, play it for him. Here's Gaia. 
Come on, guy, surely. Take a touch. Nice ball in now. Comes in. Oh, Joe Hart's there. Go on, Firmino. Nice touch. Let's get past. Come on, nice ball in now for Sturridge. Sturridge! Oh, Hart's there again. Ball comes in. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Oh, man, you like good save. Oh, we've cleared it away. Play it back. Nice, he's on. Here's Klein. Get past Klein. Nice ball in now. Comes in. Luana. Oh, Joe Hart's there again. And, guys, the referee's blown for half time at Anfield. And it is nil nil. Now, although I'm very happy going in nil-nil, I just feel that we haven't really shown that we're going to score a goal, and this is the worry I've got. I'm not really sure where the goal is going to come from. Let's have a look, little look at the match facts. So they've had four shots, one on target. We haven't even had a shot yet, but we've had a lot of possession, and I'm quite happy to have a lot of possession, because when they're not on the ball, they can't score. But I'm going to jump back into the second half, with exactly the same team, and we're just going to have to wait. We're just going to have to hope that an opportunity comes up and we take it, guys. That's what we need to do. We need to take an opportunity that appears. They're not second in the league for nothing. They are literally holding this ball up. And here we go. Play Sturridge through. Here's Sturridge through a goal. Surely. Go on. No, I don't believe it. How has that not gone in? Nice RC. Oh, that's not great. That is not great at all. And they are coming forwards. Good save, Minion Lane. Do you know what, guys? I'm going to make some substitutions. Roberto Firmino is very... Very tired. We need to get him off. I'm going to bring Coutinho on and switch Coutinho on Lallana. And I think I'm going to take Chan off and bring T. Elliman's on. Come on, lads. We need to find someone. I think I'm going to bring Ben Teke on in the last 10 minutes or something. But I need to push. We have to push for this goal, guys. We need it. Playing in for T. Elliman's. Turn your man, T. Elliman's. Come on. You threw on goal. Shoot. Jump, Coutinho. Oh, no. Why did that have to be Coutinho? The smallest man, pretty much. Why couldn't that have been Sturridge? Play it straight up. Let's go. Come on, Coutinho. Come on, Coutinho. Yes! Come on, Coutinho. Oh, my word, guys. The 79th minute. And Joe Walsh has got a hand to it. Beautiful little bit of football there. We went Coutinho to Sturridge to Carvalho. And Carvalho lined up for Sturridge. And again, what an absolutely insane shot. Hart gets a hand to it. But unfortunately, this time, it ends up in the back of the net. And on that... No, guys, I'm going to make a substitution. Sturridge has got to come off before he gets injured for Ben Teke. Lay it in the middle. Here we go. We're finding the space. Come on, come forwards for me, lads. Come forwards. Don't lose it there. Get rid of it. Oh, my word. Risky. Watch the run. Watch the run. No, I don't believe it. I can't believe it. Who is that? Seriously, is that Aguero? How is Aguero beating any of my defenders in a header? Seriously, guys, how is he beating any of my men? And again, it is Geyer at the back post. Come on, lads, we've got to push for this now. We need a goal now. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Go on, get on the overlap. Let's go, Klein. Let's go, Klein. Go on. This could be our chance. Benteke, if any time you need to get this on your head, it's now. Shoot. Why? Why didn't you shoot, Coutinho? Why didn't he shoot? I don't understand. And guys, the referee is blown for full time. Oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I cannot believe it. How has that happened? The stats were very level. I suppose it shows we should have had a draw. Well, how has that happened? Joe Hart getting man of the match. I'm not surprised. We put everything at Joe Hart then. Everything. And how we didn't go on to win that game, I don't know. Although the stats say it was very, very level. I really think we should have won that. I really do, guys. Oh, I'm absolutely gutted. Absolutely gutted. And we've also had an email off the Chief saying, risk of losing three players, Martin Scale or Lucas Leiva and Mario Balotelli. So we're going to go ahead and offer these contracts, guys, because I can't risk losing any of these players. So, first up is Mario Balotelli. Let's see how much he wants. Where is he? Where is he? Come on, Mario. Where are you, son? There we go. Mario is on 80. He wants 110. A little bit pricey, that, Mario. So what I'll do is I'll offer you 100 and three years, and we'll see what you say to that 100. 
The other man was Lucas Leiva. He's on 80. He wants 90. Okay, I'll pay 90, but I want you for three years. And who was the final man? Now, really, we could do with offload them all on scale, but I'm going to offer him a contract so he can't leave. I don't want him to leave anytime soon. We need him at the moment. Where is Martin Scale? Here we go. Martin Scale. He's on 70. He wants 90. I'll offer him his 90, but I want three years out of him, which will take him up to the age of 34, I do believe. But I think that's pretty fair. So there we go. We've offered all them contracts. I just don't want a team to come in and get them for stat value. It's just not good enough. But nevertheless, guys, we have now moved down to fourth position. One point behind City and Spurs. Three points behind Chelsea. And we have Arsenal one point behind us and four points behind now and Man United, which I'm happy to see. We're getting a bit of a distance us top four. We're slightly moving away from the rest of the year. Barclays Premier League. But unfortunately, guys, I suppose my winning streak hasn't finished yet. I just haven't lost. So to take a point at City, you know, I'm quite happy for that. We've had some decent wins. You know, we didn't win that game, unfortunately. But, you know, we haven't lost and that is what we have to look at. Unfortunately, we just couldn't defend that final game. But there we go, guys. That's going to do it for today's episode. If you have enjoyed it, please do give it a big thumbs up for me. Don't forget to drop your comments down below. If you're new around here, click that subscribe button. Don't forget to share this video with friends and family. And I've been Massive Brad. Peace out.